Ulanzi just sent me this vlogging tripod for a video review. It's the Ulanzi MT36. It's very compact, lightweight, it can hold up to 3 kilograms and you can wrap it around pretty much anything you want. Let's see if it's worth buying this tripod or not. So the price for this tripod is 45 US dollars and the build quality is awesome. The legs obviously are built out of this bendable rubber material and then the frame of the tripod is built out of plastic and the ball head is completely built out of metal. The ball head uses a Falcom F38 quick release system. I'm using this quick release system for about eight months now and I'm very happy with it. I've made a video about this system. You can watch it up here. This tripod supports up to three kilograms of weight, which is more than enough of vlogging in my personal opinion. And let me show you the weight of this tripod. So here I have a scale and let's see the total weight of the tripod. 400, 400 grams basically, 401 grams. So it is also pretty lightweight. On the top of the tripod, you have a quarter inch thread to mount different ball heads. Unfortunately, no 3 8 inch thread. You also have two positions only with this tripod. This is the first position and then this is the second locked position. But obviously you can bend the legs and position this tripod exactly how you want to. This is exactly what makes this tripod so special. Now let me put my camera on this tripod and show you a couple of cool tricks that you can do with a tripod like this. All right, so first, obviously, you can bend the legs exactly how you want to and position the camera how you want to without even touching the ball head, just going to bend the legs and then you'll be able to put the camera in the exact angle that you want to. And it's pretty easy to bend these legs. It's not too hard, feels pretty natural and pretty easy. Now, what I like to do with this tripod is to make handles on the side and then I can film like so, just to add extra stability to my camera. It makes it more comfortable and more stable as well to film. And another thing that you can do is to create a top handle. So if you're going to flip the camera like so, and then you're gonna take all the legs and put them here. Now you basically have like a top handle and you can film just like that and get cool low angle shots or just have more comfort when filming with your camera. Another cool thing about this tripod is the ball head itself. So as you can see, there is a cold shoe mount on the side to mount extra accessories. For example, now I have my microphone, my Rode Wireless Go 2 on the camera and unfortunately I don't have any other cold shoe mounts on the camera, but I have a cold shoe mount in here and I can mount an extra light, maybe my phone or whatever else I want to with this cold shoe mount on the ball head. All right, so now let's do a vlog test with this tripod. At the moment, I'm vlogging with my Sony ZV-E10, the Tamron 11 to 20 millimeters f2.8, and the Rode Wireless Go 2 lavalier microphone. And it feels very comfortable with this tripod. All this weighs around 800 grams. Nothing feels really heavy, nothing really bothers me. It feels extremely comfortable with this lightweight setup. Now let me switch to my Fujifilm X-T4, which is a bit heavier than this. It's about 1.4 kilograms. And let's see if it still feels comfortable with this tripod or not. And right now I'm vlogging with the Fujifilm X-T4 and the Fujinon 16 to 55 lens, which in total weighs about 1.4 kilograms, definitely heavier than the Sony ZV-E10. And it feels heavier on the tripod. Definitely I can feel it in my arm but it still feels very sturdy with this tripod, pretty comfortable. The ball head is not moving around. Even if I'm gonna put it this way, everything feels really sturdy and really comfortable. But personally, I would never vlog with something as heavy as this, because in my opinion, it's just way too much. I would maybe use something like the Sony ZV-10, maybe a GoPro or the Sony ZV-1 or something much lighter than this for vlogging because 1.4 kilograms is just way too much for vlogging. 
Anyhow, now let me put back the Sony ZV-10 on this tripod and I'm gonna try to wrap it around things and let's see how sturdy these legs really are. Okay, I am back on the Sony and it feels so much lighter and so much better for my arm. And check out this beautiful place. It's so beautiful here today, amazing. I'm gonna try to wrap the tripod on this little fence. Let's see how well it works. Let me try to be as natural as possible. Okay, one, two, and three, and I am done. And now the tripod is pretty much sitting on this fence. As you can see, this is how it looks like. It sits nicely, pretty sturdy, and it took me a second to set it up. Okay, now the Fuji is on the tripod. I had to adjust the leg here. I put it here and it still feels pretty sturdy. Nothing is really wobbling too much. The tripod sits very nicely on this thing. Let me try to wrap this tripod around something else just to show you and check this out. <laughs> they have a phone booth here in the middle of nowhere pretty much. <laughs> All right, so I just wrapped this tripod on this phone booth in the middle of nowhere. And this is how it looks like. Camera feels pretty sturdy. This is me. And even the heavier Fuji sits nicely on this tripod wrapped around this phone boot thing. I'm gonna try to wobble the camera. It does move a little bit more than the Sony ZV-10, but it is still very sturdy. 